Did Tati Westbrook just shade Jeffree Star? We'll tell you what's going on and how Jeffree is shading back in his own way. I'm Kelsey Banis and you're watching The Daily Report. It's Monday. <sighs> We're doing it. It's getting really shady in the beauty community again, and that's largely because of Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook. The two have not been on the best terms since Dramageddon 2 exploded earlier this year. Jeffree started on the side of full Tati support, but by the end of it, it seems they had a falling out and the two were no longer as close as they once used to be. Now, that could be because Jeffrey kind of inserted himself into the drama and in an effort to stick up for Tati against James Charles, he may have made it worse. After all, he did text James threatening to expose him, insulting his brother, and using James's friends against him. And if you're trying to make peace the way Tati was, that's really not helping. <laughs> so last month when he unfollowed Tati on Instagram, a lot of fans had some questions, but Jeffrey was quick to shut that down when he tweeted, quote, the planet is who the f cares about who I'm following on an iPhone app? Let's get your priorities back to what matters. Stop trying to fish for drama that's not there. So he does shut down those rumors and fans saw he was still following her on Twitter. So everything is fine, right? Well, it seemed that way for a while, but now fans have noticed he has unfollowed her now on Twitter too. Could this be because Tachi's new palette launched on October 25th, one week before Shane and Jeffrey's palette? Yes, it's a big month for all involved in Dramageddon. James Charles' mini palette with Morphe launched on October 17th, then Tachi's on the 25th, and now Jeffrey slash Shane's palette on November 1st. Whew. There is just a lot in the beauty world that has taken my money. Their palettes are all drama getting babies as they apparently went to work quickly after it all went down. If you recall from Shane and Jeffrey's last video when they spoke to Morphe about being an exclusive partner on this palette, Jeffrey pointed out that all of the big beauty gurus will talk about launch dates so as to not step on any toes. This may be why James did a mid-month launch compared to the November 1st launch Morphe was initially eyeing. But did Tati and Jeffrey talk about launch dates? Is one week in between enough for Tati to have her moment before Jeffrey and Shane's mega release? Appropriately, some fans have conspiracy theories about the whole situation. One fan tweeted, quote, conspiracy theory. Jeffrey Star unfollowed Tati because they had a business disagreement. Jeffrey didn't want to compete with Tati on Christmas sales. Naturally, Jeffrey is threatened because everyone has been anticipating a Tati makeup line and knows this is tough competition. While another wrote, quote, oh, so Tati and Jeffrey fell out because Jeffrey wouldn't move the date of the Shane collab away from the launch of Tati Beauty. Now we know. One fan even pointed out Jeffrey might be blocking anyone who supports Tati's palette. To be fair, there were noticeably no new episodes of Shane and Jeffrey's documentary last week, and instead we are getting two new episodes this week, so that could have been on purpose to give Tati her moment, or it could have been an editing issue. Either way, it seems like Tati may have shaded Jeffrey hard at her makeup launch party anyway. Well, she didn't really name names, but it sure sounds like it could have been about Jeffrey. She was telling E about how much support makeup artist Scott Barnes has given her, and she said that he told her, quote, we're going to really show the industry that two powerhouses can actually come together instead of stabbing each other in the back. Yikes. But we want to know what you think. Are Jeffrey and Tati feuding or is this just all business? Let us know in the comments below and as always don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. I'm Kelsey Banis and beauty drama is just too much drama for me. I, I don't even know what's going on anymore.